You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. You're looking live over Plumas County. Look at those clouds there. It's pretty impressive looking, but we're also seeing a possible chance of some mountain showers in some areas. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff. Yeah, you can see some towering cumulus clouds there in the foreground, some cumulonimbus, some thunderstorm clouds in the background also. So a very active afternoon for the mountains, quieter in the valley, but it's not going to stay that way. Now, our temperatures were just about perfect as far as the averages are concerned. On this 24th day of May, we had a low this morning of 58 degrees in Redding. It was 59 degrees in Chico and 60 degrees in Corning. The highs so comfortable for the last week or so of May, right? We're supposed to be in Redding with that high of 85. Chico, how about 77 degrees? We'll take that with a lot of sunshine as well. Temperatures in the lower 60s though in Chester, where we've had more showers and thunderstorms and a warm 84, both in Weaverville and in Red Bluff. So you can see the active weather certainly over the higher terrain today, much quieter for the valley, certainly compared to yesterday around Shasta County and northern Tehama County. Late afternoon and evening, we had those thunderstorms that were rumbling, had a lot of photos and videos from that, and we still have some more active weather, mostly over Plumas County, but even tonight, we're going to have the sun go down, and those clouds are going to fall apart rapidly. So 11 o'clock tonight, we'll have a mostly clear sky, and it's going to be a sunny sky to start Thursday, but it's not going to end that way. We're going to have more instability in the atmosphere, more moisture, and that means more chances for showers and thunderstorms. By 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, a better chance just east of the ridge over western Plumas County. We'll have some showers and thunderstorms developing. Same thing on the west side of the valley, but not quite as active by 6 o'clock tomorrow, just like yesterday. More showers and storms forming over the mountains of Shasta County and moving southward toward Redding and Red Bluff, so keep that in mind tomorrow afternoon, and especially tomorrow evening. By 11, we we still have enough energy to cause more showers and storms, but this time over the plateau. A little bit less active weather Friday morning, but we'll also have more showers and storms return Friday afternoon, just not quite as numerous or as widespread. And we're going to have this same trough of low pressure stuck over northern California and southern Oregon, providing more of that instability and then just enough moisture to cause daily chances for showers and storms. As I mentioned yesterday, it won't rain or hail or thunderstorm anywhere all day and any of the next seven days, but most of the days we're going to have a chance for showers and storms over the mountains and a few days we'll have a chance of seeing them in the valley too. So if you're going to be doing anything outdoors for the upcoming Memorial Day weekend, keep an eye to the sky. The mountains will certainly have a better chance for additional rain showers and thunderstorms. So for right now, I want to show you the short-term precipitation chances and you'll notice by tomorrow afternoon, Redding has a chance for up with four tenths of an inch of rain, also about a third of inch around mineral more over the mountains not much south of red bluff though but that's just the initial part coming up in the second half hour i'm going to show you our other long-term forecasts and they're more enthusiastic for larger amounts of rain as we head forward but if you want to get outside and did some yard work in tomorrow we're gonna have some really good uh, weather for that all the way through friday saturday and sunday but just make sure you keep eye to the sky don't get rained out we'll have a slight chance for some showers and storms and we're not going to have fairly quiet weather for the first day of silver dollar fair in the Chico area, mid 70s at noon, lower 80s from the early afternoon through the early evening, a gradual increase in clouds. It should stay dry. More chances for wet weather further north from Red Bluff closer to Redding. So overnight tonight, we'll have lows in the 30s and 40s, a seasonably cool night for the mountains. High overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 50s for the valley. Highs also seasonable again. 70s for the higher terrain, lower to mid 80s for the valley. Comfortable, but a better chance for showers and storms tomorrow closer to Redding and Red Bluff. Next seven days in Chico, slight chance for showers going forward, but look at those highs. We won't have to worry about sweltering in the triple digits anytime soon. Looking for 80s, possibly some lower 90s as we get closer to the middle of next week. Chances for showers and storms are more likely for Redding than Chico, but again, we'll take 80s this time of year because you know it could easily be in the triple digits. I agree. Thanks, Jason.